Here with senior first baseman Alex Pinero. And Alex, some people have said you're one of the leaders on this team. How would you describe your style of leadership? Uh, I'm not really, I'm not really one to be like. I'm always like talking and all that, but I'm not really one to say myself as a leader. Like I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I just like to show it by how I play and how I how I run and practice, how I get after it and show effort every day. Who else would you say are some leaders on the team? Oh, we got a lot of leaders. Um, it's like, and I think Bren, Bren's a good leader. I think um, Gunnar Leje is a good leader. Definitely Gunnar Leje is our leader, I would think so. What did you work the hardest on this offseason trying to get better at? This offseason? Uh, I try to hit the weight room a little bit. I don't know, it doesn't show. But, uh, but I try to get stronger and try to get my power numbers up a little bit from last year. And, yeah. What's it been like facing this pitching staff all offseason? Because it looks really deep and nasty on paper. How would you describe the arms you guys have? We're deep. I don't even. I, I can't even tell you the guys who are going to be our weekend guys. Everyone could be a weekend guy here. I, honestly, everyone's super deep, and our bullpen, our bullpen is out of control. Honestly, um, but I, I would think it's a lot deeper from last year. Um, and seeing them pitch this fall and now in the spring, it's a lot better. How much better does that make you guys that you're working against those guys every day at practice? A lot better. You know, it's it's kind of it's it's not you don't really compete when you got a guy up there that you think you're, you're you know like that you know you're gonna do good off of. It's when you got to face a uh, like a buffalo, how we call them. You know, we all these guys are buffaloes, and we got to go in there every day. And if and you, and you can't take a day off against these guys, you know, because <laughs> they're gonna beat you. You know. And it's kind of been a crazy offseason for you guys. I mean, you're practicing with steel beams and jackhammers and stuff going on in the background. How have you guys learned to tune that out? Uh, at first, at first I heard it, but now I don't even. We don't even hear. It. At least I don't. I, I feel like they're not even working up there. And I look up, and every day it's getting closer and closer being done. So. And do you think that's kind of prepared you guys to deal with the environments you guys are going to face on the road? Because you guys start off the season with tons of games on the road. Yeah. It, obviously it does, you know, it's not how, it's not how we were used to, you know, I've never been, man, I've never even played at a stadium this big, in my, well, last year at Houston, but besides that, I've never been at a stadium this big, you know, and it's, it's humbling to play at a stadium this big, and we're ready for any, anything that comes our way. And how excited are you to finally get back in this ballpark for game one, and do you think the fans are going to like what they see? Oh, man, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, I can't wait to see the best fans in the world come out here, support us. All right. Do you have goals for yourself that you set this year, and what are the team goals too? Um, for myself, find the ways to help the team win. Uh, I don't know. Really, just find the ways to get th get things done. Run around scoring position. I gotta um, get my RBIs up and try to help the team win in every way I can. Who would you say made a huge jump from where they were at last year to this year? Who's really impressed you? From last year to this year, I would I would have to say Jam. You know. Um, Guy had a great fall. It's defensively, it just looks really good out there. And I, even at the plate, too, he looks a lot better than I remember from last year. And last year, you were kind of getting used to the new environment, everything like that. H have you settled in to Lafayette? If so, what's what's your favorite part about being here? Oh, I've settled in. Uh, honestly, the people here are so nice and how they how I'm treated everywhere I go. Like, I, I go eat lunch at Champagne's, I think, every day. And, man... Just how people treat me here, it's 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 very like a a home like a home for me now, you know. Like everyone treats me right. All right, time for a little bit of fun just to wrap up. Uh, do you have a favorite movie that if it's ever like a rainy day or something, you pull out, you it never gets old to you? Uh, I would have to say, Crazy Stupid Love. I think. Did not see that coming. <laughs> what, what's your favorite character from the movie The Sandlot? Sandlot. I don't think I've ever seen The Sandlot. No. We're gonna need to change that. Somebody on this team's got to show you that movie. <laughs> Uh, and what last one? What, what's your favorite robism? Because we know he's got some phrases he uses all the time. What's one that you always kind of like? Oh uh, man, uh, there's a lot of them. I don't know if this is a robism, but I, I, I like when he when he goes up to you and he just comes up to you and he shrugs his shoulders and he's like, "He ain't no man if you do that," you know. He, he always he always compares everyone. He always wants everyone to be a man. So as soon as you're not becoming a man, he's like, hey, "You're not acting like a man, man." Hey, look out! He'll call you out. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Have fun, have fun this season. Appreciate it. Thank you.